may I have Mr Bourne the baker? No, he's not at home. I'll raise you 20 gobstoppers. But while Eric and the babysitter played their innocent game of happy families, sinister forces were plotting the destruction of Banana Man. Yes, fans, it was evil General Blight and his old school chum, Dr Gloom. I tell you, Doctor, I could take over the world if it weren't for Banana Man. Sometimes I think he's indestructible. But we don't have to destroy him, BG. I told you never to use that name. Sorry, Anyway, I can deal with the big banana. Just get into my surgery. Leave the rest to me. We have just heard that unless Banana Man appears in person to negotiate with Dr. Gloom, the world will end at midnight and the late night movie will be cancelled. Gosh, there's no time to lose. Bah, where is this Dr. Gloom? 42A Railway Company. But hurry, Banana Man. Spooky, isn't it? The famous Banana Man. And the infamous Dr. Gloom, I presume. Now, what's all this about cancelling the midnight movie? All in good time, Banana Brain. First, make yourself comfortable on this operating table, and we shall begin your treatment. Treatment? I don't need any treatment. I feel fine. Don't count on it. Here, an anesthetic. Ouch. Don't go away. It will only be a minute. Must warm up. My age-reversing machine. Where am I? Hello. Is that a little nightingale? No, 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 no. It's me, boss, Crow. Now, listen, don't worry. I shall think of something. Right. A couple of bursts. Oh, oh, no. And you're a teenage banana. Oh, oh. A toddler. <laughs> and now, who's a pretty little boy then? Hmm? Now, let us take a happy snap for your banana fans all over the world. Tonight, the fate of the world still hangs in the balance. And if this picture is authentic, Banana Man is powerless to help us. That you, Doc? <laughs> My plans are almost complete. How about Banana Man? I think he's in the machine. He's regressing it. He, he's, he's quite... He's slowly... Quite... Can you please be quiet? How can I carry on a conversation with all the racket? Give the kid a banana. That'll quieten him. Oh, yes. Hickey, I'm a banana. Hello. Hello. It's uh, just a little problem, General. And, uh, I'll call you back. And you, prepare to become a banana tot again. No. On reflection, it's your turn, Doc. Hi there, General. This cute little fellow is Dr. Gloom. You'll probably be too busy taking care of him to take over the world, at least for a while. Signed, Banana Man. Dada. That's right, fans. I've done it again. Now I must get back for supper. And where have you been? Out saving the world. That call to action could come at any time. The heavy mob, safely locked away thanks to Banana Man, had already made one attempt to escape. A birthday cake, eh? We'll see about that. Well, it's health food, actually, with lots of iron and vitamin. But the leader of the heavy mob, he's called Eddie the Gent, he didn't give up that easily. Men, we're going to break out of this place. <laughs> Listen to this. Dear Eddie the Gent, here are the details of my daring escape plan for the heavy mob. 
First, to get you out of prison, I'll dig a tunnel under the wall and you and you... Note well, banana fans. The author of that note was a legendary figure from the underground of crime, the Mole. A few revs of his powerful Mole machine engine and Operation Big Breakout was on. Tonight's the night. Tonight's the night. Tonight's the night. And that very night, as the prison sentries kept their uneasy vigil, something was stirring in the prison yard. Just some <laughs> rehearsing for the Christmas panther governor. <laughs> Eric, it's Chief O'Reilly here. There's trouble at the Nick. A heavy mob's broken out. I want you to tell Banana Man we'll meet him at the prison soon as we can. And watch it. This looks like the work of the mole. Flipping heck. I'm on my... I mean, he's practically there, Chiefy. And before you could say amazing transformation, Banana Man was up, up and away. Into a steep glide and touchdown. Immediately through his audio banana phone, he heard the patter of tiny footsteps. An escape tunnel. The chief was right. This has to be the work of the mole. Well, Mr. Mole, dig this. Even steel walls are no match for my helium boosted thermal finger. Are they? <laughs> well, thought the mole, if steel walls can't stop Banana Man, let's play ball with the cannonball. How's that, fan? Oh, well bold, sir. The mole machine's gyro stabilizer has been hit. It's out of control and burrowing out of sight. So it's goodbye. We won't see you again, Mr. Mole. Hands up. Now start walking to the exit. There are four of us, Big Banana. What will you do if we split? Quiet. This banana's loaded, and I won't hesitate to use it. So just keep walking. Okay, lad. The party's over. Oh, oh, oh crap. Come on now, back to the nick. So, plenty of sunshine all day. What's that thunder? You bet it was, sweetheart. <laughs> and that's only the beginning. And for my next trip, at the ice a storm. A banana man, if you're watching. A the weatherman. Oh. Unless you want to end up like that newsreader banana man, and I'm sure you don't, you'd better forget about the weatherman. Not coming lightly. While that fearful threat was being delivered, Eric was already tracking weatherman's location with his crystal direction finder and eating a banana to produce an amazing transformation. Banana Man at supersonic speed flew towards northern latitudes and danger. He ignored the deadly ice stones which bounced off his rugged frame. And there it was, the weatherman's battleship of the skies. Good morning, madam. Milk, yogurt, um, pies. You come in. 
banana man. <laughs> you see, I'm not fooled by that clever disguise, and now you are a prisoner in my lighter than airship. Oh, no, I'm not. Have a heavier than air custard pie. Mm. Tastes delicious, I admit, but no, thank you very much, banana man. For you, the party's over. <laughs> Now that you're helping, I should explain how I rule the weather. See, that's ice station zero immediately below us. See that? Mm -hmm. It's like a giant storage battery. Storage battery? That's correct. It draws cold energy from the polar ice and... Uh, snow? No, absolutely. I convert the cold energy to bad weather by radio impulse. Not too technical, this is it. That comes to my control panel. I and see. It, yes. And meanwhile, my ruthless robot snowman stands guard. Ah. Ah. But enough of all this. It's time you were leaving, Banana Man. I'm sorry about your icy reception up here. <laughs> and so Banana Man plunged down to the Arctic waste below. But the weatherman hadn't reckoned on Big B's electronic thermal underwear. A quick burst of heat, a cloud of steam, a little reverse thrust to slow his descent, and target in sight, Ice Station Zero. Hi there, I'm from the Arctic Electricity Board, come to read the meter. Your clever disguise, that doesn't fool me, banana man, I shall destroy you. Stuff, eh? Ow. Well, no time to look for an instruction leaflet. Ha ha! Wait till they get next month's electricity bill. If anyone calls, I'm out to dawn. And just in time, too. For below, Ice Station Zero was reduced to nothing. And so, as the weatherman's airship careered out of control, lost in the Arctic sky, he sent his last transmission. Oh, yes, certainly, sir. It would appear that I have to proceed using the hubbub. I've on the man. But you haven't heard the last of the weatherman. Never mind. The sun's shining again. Thanks to Banana Man's cool courage and heroic endeavors. You tell him, Fiona. I'm bashful. One morning, Eric was running to catch the school bus, when hark, from yon distant tower, he heard a faint cry of distress. Oh, distress! Distress! Oh, save me! Now that was a call to action. In a blinding flash, Eric was transformed. He's in there now on a man. Oh, save me! Save me! It's only a video recording. Still, might as well see how it ends. And that ends story time for today, kiddies. Did you like it? Oh, yes, I like that bit about... Wait a minute. It's you, General Blight. That's right, Banana Brain. You're an old arch enemy, and you've fallen into my trap. <laughs> By now, you are 20,000 miles above the Earth. Heading for the planet, Nerd! No. Oh. Uh, I'm only licensed to fly at 500 feet. I'm not very good at that. We have now landed on the planet Nerk. <laughs> this is the end of the line for you, Ban. <laughs> bye bye! Stone the crows, look at them, oh dear. And I thought you were ugly. <laughs> you are coming with us to the mothership, Earthling. We are Nurks. Never you mind, no one's perfect. Put me down, put me down or I'll, uh, I'll. I'm terribly strong, you know. Look, <clears throat> the banana man struggled in vain. Those muscles of steel rippling under his blue combinations were powerless against the awesome gravitational force of this strange planet. Mother! 
Mother! Yes, this is Mother Nurk. About time you came back, lads. I've made your tea and Zorg's waiting. Hang on, I'll beam you up. Coming up! Uh, what do, what do, what do, what do, at home? All hail, mighty Zorg. Monarch of the Milky Way. Celestial jewel in the crowd of the galaxy. Omnipotent potentate of the furthest reaches of the Get Earth. Get on with it, you irksome nut. Yes, sir. Yes, your nutship. This is the Earthling sent to us by your old chum, General Flight. He is called Banana Man. Listen, fruit face. With our help, General Blight is going to take over your miserable little planet. But we must know the locations of all your earthling military installations and Chinese takeaways before we invade. That's what you're going to tell us. Or, or, or. Or there'll be an empty chair at Din Din's tonight. And guess who's? Mind if I have a banana first? Be my guest. Get that man! Give him the work! Work! that! Find that! And have one of these! This is Mother Nook! Ain't you got no manners? You left the door open! Close it gently! We'll sit on them retros and what's it wrong! Remember, don't slander! Well, I've done it again, fans. Saved the world. Ah, an interplanetary re-entry cannon. A few coins in here, Crow. And we'll be on our way. And where have you been, Eric? She'd never believe me, would she? Chief O'Reilly here, Eric. Now listen, this could be the crime of the century. The man behind it is the sinister General Blight. He's mean, he's malicious, he's terribly ugly. Thank you. Nice to know you're wanted. <laughs> oh, as you know, Eric, General Blight is determined to rule the world and Acacia Road Junior School. And you know what that means, Eric. You bet, Chiefy. More homework and prunes and custard every day. Absolutely right. To finance his evil scheme, He's kidnapped the chairman of the United Nations Christmas Club Committee. You're following this? He's chained him to a railway track and he's demanded billions of pounds of ransom money. Blistering banana skins. You can say that again. Blistering Don't! Blistering banana skins. The Milky Express is speeding towards the helpless chain. The driver, bound hand and foot, totally powerless to stop it. We've got the ransom money here. If only Banana Man could pick it up. Say no more, Chiefy. I'm on my... He's on his way. Down at the police station, Mr. Grindle, in charge of damage control, was repairing the results of Banana Man's last visit. Hello, what's this? A giant blue bottle? Oh, Banana Man! All right, any funny business and you'll end up as banana fritters. Now, start counting the money. If it's all there, I'll give you the combination to that lock and I'll fly away. Oh, no, he won't. Oh, yes, I will. Meanwhile, the express grew ever closer. One million, two and a half million, ninety-seven thousand five hundred and one. <laughs> Up. Oh. Okay, it's all there, banana brain. Here's the combination. Double six, double four. Now, <laughs> give me the sack. Anything you say, General, consider yourself fired. Now to rescue what's his name? Uh, double seven. Uh, four, four. Uh, wait, wait, wait. 
You don't need the combination. Banana bombs because you have the strength of 20 men. Oh, yes. 20 big men. Oh, cool. It's pathetic, isn't it? Never fear. Banana man's here. <laughs> Banana Man's heroic endeavours went over. Innocent men, women, children, and a thousand intercity sandwiches were hurtling to their doom. Gasp! Fortunately, Banana Man had another trick up his sleeve, and a few muscles as well. Riley's clever coppers caught the crafty criminal and carted him off to the clink. Oh, my hero! Oh, the banana fans rushed to thank their rescuer. The banana man, whose true identity must remain a mystery, tried to slip quietly away. It may not be such an exciting life being plain little Eric, but it's all lot safer. Oh, oh, it's in, it's in. It was a spooky night, banana fans. A night when most of the townsfolk were indoors, huddled around the fire. But if you were made of sterner stuff, turned left to the corner shop, past the gasworks, and up Hangman's Hill, you would have come upon two shadowy figures near the old mansion. Look, there it is, Banana Man. The house on Hangman's Hill. Oh, yes standing empty for years, and now, all of a sudden, it's haunted. Haunted? Yes, people report weird lights. Lights? Strange noises. What kind of noises, Chief O'Reilly? The creaking of a hangman's noose. The thump of a wooden leg. That sort of noise. Ah, listen, there it is. They say it's the ghost of Ollie Earnshaw, the one-legged highwayman. He was hanged on this very hill 300 years ago. And still... Hanging, hanging around, around, eh, Chief? <clears throat> yes. Right? I'm going in. What? You're, you're going in there alone, Big B? You know my methods, O'Reilly. Remember these villains, banana fans? Yes, it's the high command of the heavy mob. Their leader, Eddie the Gent, Morris the Muscle, and Rembrandt. Gosh, Eddie, counterfeiting. When you said we'd be making big money, I didn't think of this. Yes, well, just leave the thinking to me, Morris. Hold it. There's someone moving out there. Get your stations, men. No one must discover this counterfeiting operation. If any busybodies enter, just scare the daylights out of them, would you? Uh, it's night time, boss, I think. There you go again, Morris. Thinking. Oh. Sorry, Eddie. Hello? Anybody at home? Uh, no, no. Uh, we've all gone to the jumble sale at the Scout Hut. Sorry. I see. Deserted, eh? Hmm. Wonder what's in here. Must be the den. Oh! It could be internal combustion. Or just a... Hot night. Oh, oh. I can't swim. Save me. Well, well, Rembrandt. So the heavy mobs behind this so-called haunting start talking. What desperate crime is being committed here? And where's Eddie the gent? I'll be reasonable, banana man. Anyone who squeals on Eddie, well, he's peeled his last banana. Listen, listen, I'll just tell you this. You will find something interesting in the library. You mean books? Ah, he's got a mind like a steel trap. <laughs> Strange how those eyes seem to follow you everywhere in the room. Aha! I was right! There are books! <laughs> Bodybuilding for beginners. Hmm. Oh! Eddie the Gent. A printing press. So that's your game. Game? <laughs> no, no, Banana Man. We're, we're just printing some hymn sheets for the vicar. Those hymn sheets, Eddie. They're very small. They're for a very small choir. Mm, uh, all the same, let's see what Chief O'Reilly makes of them. 
Come on, you two. Um, careful, banana man. Uh, uh, put me down, would you please? Oh, 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 I can't, no. I think I'm going to fight it. Oh. I suppose there's no chance of an in-flight movie, banana man? No. Oh, I thought not. Excellent workmanship, eh, Chief? Perfect in every detail, even the watermark. But tell me, how did you know they were counterfeit? Banana Man, there's no such thing as a nine-pound note. Of course. Well, Banana fans, it began as one of those boring days. No crime or disasters for Banana Man to sort out. It was very quiet. Too quiet, if you ask me. But no one asked him. However, his suspicions were well founded. How's the latest Earth invasion plan coming along, King Zorg? Almost ready, General Blight. As soon as we locate and silence the early warning satellite, my starship fleet will attack your peanut. <laughs> I mean, your planet. That satellite, is it Russian? No, it's just drifting slowly. I see. <laughs> but Zorg, isn't it dangerous for you to lead this patrol? Fear not, Mon General. The mothership is manned by a tough, hard-bitten crew of killers. Mother Nurk here to cruise quarters. Sorry I can't help you with the mission, lads. Got all this washing and cleaning, you see. Leave it to us, Mummy. <laughs> Mysterious disappearance of the early warning satellite. Some fear this is the beginning of another invasion scheme from outer space. They're right, and I'll bet General Blight's behind it. Stand back, Crow. This calls for a banana. So once again, the interstellar crime fighter rocketed through the silent reaches of space, determined to find the missing satellite. No sign of the satellite, Crow, but look! Oh, that's the Nurk mothership. Careful, boss. It could be very dangerous. Nevertheless, Crow, the satellite may be aboard. So that's our destination, even as prisoners. We'll take them by surprise, Crow. We'll try to act casual, as though we were just passing and dropped in. Gas! Good morning, madam. Sure. Easy, Nurk. I know when I'm wet. My, you certainly are a tough breed. Take me to your breeder. Don't be alarmed, man. I can take these yo-yos any time. All hail, mighty log. King of the Cosmos, Emperor of the Seven Moons of Milos, past President of the Mystic Knights of the Royal Order of Jehovah. Oh. I like your All I want is a little respect, but that one, dear me. That prisoner is Banana Man, got no ship. He's probably after the S-A-T-E-L-L-I-T-E. -E. The satellite? Satellite. Oh. I warned you not to trifle with me, Banana Man. Terminate him, Nux. Uh oh, Crow. There must be twenty of them. So, so, Banana Man, you have the strength of twenty Nux. Oh, yes. Twenty big. <laughs> <laughs> Lads, have your tea and baked beans on toast and... Here! This tin of baked beans is radioactive or else it's gone off. It's the missing satellite. I'll just open a window. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, look at that, boss. Oh, I left the window open. And we just heard the early warning satellite is back on station. The Earth is safe from sudden attack, so it's thanks again to Banana Man, wherever you are. Right here, Fiona. I don't mind the rain, because this is my big day. We're playing Gasworks United and I'm in goal. 
This is no ordinary rain bucketing down. That's right, banana fans. It was raining cats and dogs. Poodles were forming everywhere. He's already here, Eric. This is no ordinary rainstorm bucketing down. Oh, I tell you, it's getting very damp around here. Mr. Grindle, our damage control officer, is down at the dam. And he says the wall can't take much more pressure. Gosh, Chief, if that wall gets Yes, away. Eric, exactly. Think of all that masonry and think of all those tons of water pouring down our case your road. It could be the wall of death. Right, Chief, I'll be right. I'll, I'll get in touch with Banana Man immediately. <laughs> of the weatherman, but surely they've seen the last of that evil bird when his airship vanished in the grey arctic mists. Hadn't heard the last of the weatherman. Never mind, Banana Man was on his way. Yes, ma'am, to face one of the greatest challenges of my career. It's Banana Man. Hi there, Grindle. Hi. This is a splendid view. Now, what seems to be the problem? I'm doing my best, Mr. B, but this is... A very big wall. Say no more. What's to be done? Oh, well, you see, there's a huge plug at the base of this wall. If you could pull that plug, no, plug all this yeah. water would drain away and we'll all be saved. But hurry, Banana Man. This wall won't last much longer. By George Grindle? Yes. Look, that's a periscope. There's no time for a one and a half twist or a somersault. Just a somersault, sir. No, there's no time. I shall just do my straight power dive. You must do what you think best, Mr. B. In that green twilight world beneath the waves, it was hunter against destroyer. And suddenly, there it was. Great barbecued bananas. A submersible airship. Yes, it is the weatherman. In person, baby mine. <laughs> and what a time for that interfering banana to turn up. Just a few more minutes of rain and the rising floodwaters will crack the wall. And then it's bye-bye Arcacia Road and farewell the Acme Bingo Hall. <laughs> I know, I can stop Banana Man with a banana-seeking torpedo. Range at 5,000, a speed at 25 knots. Wow! One! And running! Uh -huh. Even at 50 fathoms, my underwater hearing aid can pick up the approach of a deadly banana seeking torpedo. Ah, this length of tube should do the trick. I'll bend it like this and. Ready when you are, weatherman! It's coming back. I can't let Banana Man pull that plug out. Stand by to grab. Yes, fans, another villain down the drain. All in a day's work for a modest hero. And now it's time Eric appeared at that football match. We lost 23 nil, Eric. We had nobody in goal. Yes, where were you, Eric? I know what you're thinking. Tell them the truth, right? But they never believe it. Well, banana fans, no matter what he tried, the evil General Blight was unable to triumph over the greatest crime fighter of them all. Banana Man. So he sent for his henchmen. Dr. Gloom, the Weatherman, Zorg, King of the Nurks, and the Heavy Mob. Men, we've all had a go at eliminating Banana Man, and we have failed! Ruggish, ruggish, not fair! Oh, God, I don't best, I know, I know. Even I, General Blight, have had some uh, difficulty. That's why I've hired a real cold-blooded professional to do the job for us. Just wait until you meet. Come in. 
Gentlemen, meet the deadliest assassin of them all, Auntie. <laughs> and about time, too. Where have you been? I've been waiting in the Auntie room. <laughs> it's just as well to be prepared for trouble. I'll have a banana. <coughs> Oops, it's gone into Dad's car. <laughs> Motorized pedestrian. Hey, you think I like him now? Do you think I like him? You ask me if I like him now? I say no. That's what I say. I say no. I don't like him now. You people like you, you got to. But you got to lie. But I got to do. I got to put these things around it because I don't need to put them on the job. Of course, you're only doing your job. Oh, oh! You're just in time, folks. Banana Man's going to drop in unexpectedly for a smashing time. <laughs> oh! I can't move, Crow. There's a woman operating that crane and I'm... <laughs> My dears, the flavor of the month will be squashy bananas. Oh, it's a 500 weight piano. Easy. Who dropped that, Crow? I don't know, boss. Maybe it was a stool pigeon? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, it was, Chief. What did you think of it? Terrible. Oh. I think you'd better accompany me to the station. <laughs> <laughs> service announcement. Because of the unprecedented demand for the services of Banana Man in his never-ending war against the forces of evil, he has decided to take on an assistant. The thousands of applicants who are expected tomorrow morning are asked to form an orderly queue. But the next morning, all that turned up on the doorstep of 29 Acacia Road were two pints of milk and a strange youth who thought he was applying for a job at the swimming bath. No. This isn't the swimming bath, son. But if you have the strength, speed, and superior intelligence it takes to be a super crime fighter, you could be my assistant. You could be the Banana Kid. Wow, zoinks! Possibly. However, you'll have to pass a number of qualifying tests. Have you ever crashed through a brick wall or lifted a double-decker bus? Uh, well, no, sir. I admit I haven't actually done that, but I am a very, very fast learner, Mr. Banana, sir. Good morning. This is the swimming bath attendant at the Acacia Road Line. You've got a problem here, Banana Buck. There's, um, there's a thing in the water. Now, the ticket. I, um, I'll be honest, I think it's a... I think it's a shark. Is it a man-eater? Oh, I don't know. i tell you after he's had lunch. We'll have to finish your tests later, kid. Right now... I must fly. 
the Banana Kid wanted to fly too, but without Banana Man's special powers, he was grounded. Then he was struck by an idea. Ow! A millisecond later, the Banana Man landed at the poolside, and the Banana Kid wasn't far behind. How the banana fans rejoice! <laughs> and suddenly, from the silent depths below, the shark rose to inspect today's three-course dinner. Stand back, kid. Leave this to me. I'd hate to lose you to those razor-sharp teeth. But what about you, Mr. Banana, sir? Me? Never mind. Someone got to do it. One mighty leap, and Banana Man was on the high board. Muscles like coiled springs shot him into the air. A triple loop, a reclining horizontal with lasagna, and look at that, a one and a half pipe. A pipe? Ah. Or like a flounder. As you know, Banana fans, Big B has handled some mighty slippery customers in his time. But this finny foe was too much. This calls for a banana power drive. Hand me one of those bananas, kid. A big banana. You want Mr. Banana Pop? Three, two, one. No, it's not a giant blue bottle. It's Banana Man. Meanwhile, at the poolside, the banana kid was angling for promotion. When suddenly the calm surface of the pool erupted into a furious contest. It looked like banana biceps against the steel sinews of a hungry shark. But where was that shark? Excuse me, sir, it's over here. There, captured by the banana kid. Uh, oh, oh, banana, banana kid. Banana kid. Oh, yeah. Say, kid, I am Herman Berman, the big Hollywood producer. How'd you like to get into pictures? I say, do you think that's really possible, sir? <laughs> One day, Crow, I too shall star on the silver screen. Won't I? Thanks for not breaking the wall again, Mr. B. You're a real top, sir. No problem, Grindle. I flew in through a window. An open window. I understand you have urgent news for me, Chief O'Reilly. Huh? Oh, yes, yes, I certainly have. Your life's in danger, Banana Man. Auntie's back in town. Auntie? Oh, yes. She's General Blight's hit lady. She didn't get you last time, and you're still number one on her hit parade. Oh, yes, that auntie. Hey, so, Banana Man, and you know, the trouble is, we don't have a picture or even a description of it. So, you'd better be alert at all times. Well, if there's nothing else I can do, Chief, I'll see myself out. There I go. This is Auntie Breaker calling Beaver Bravo. Come in, General Blight. Auntie Breaker calling Beaver Bravo. Come in, General Blight. Listen to that. It's Auntie. She's gone nutty. Never mind the radio chat, Auntie. Just get Banana Man. And watch out for Chief O'Reilly. Understood, good buddy. That's a 10 for no sign of Smokey Bear O'Reilly, but I've spotted Banana Man and I'm going into action. This is Sweet Thing signing off. <laughs> You shouldn't be fishing on a public highway, madam. But let me help you. Oh, let me go, Gov. I'll see the error of my ways. Very well, but this is your last chance. Oh, however, can I thank you, young man? I know. I'll knit you a pullover. Just slip this on. There. Zoinks! I can't move. This has no sleeves. Don't worry. It's quite armless. 
A little present from Auntie. Auntie? Gasp! General Blight's hit lady. That's right, dearie. And even your super strength won't get you out of this fix. Your flavor is made of titanium. Hello, hello, Auntie. General Blight here. Anything to report? Oh, now, Dickie. Manonima, speak to me. He was, he was the best pal a bird ever had, you know. He had such, such fine qualities. He was brave, loyal, and intelligent. No, no, no. I mean, you don't seriously think you were intelligent. But no, no, man. You're alive, you twit. Now, quick. There's no time to lose. Auntie's turned that thing up, and she's coming this way. So wrap your chops around this banana and charge those mighty muscles with extra banana power. <laughs> through, boss. I call this an anti-climax. <laughs> Do you? Chief O'Reilly here, Eric. Now listen, General Blight and Dr. Gloom just been sighted at the fun fair, but I can't spare one single solitary man to go and see what those villains are up to, cos my entire force is down at the football ground. Is there a right, Chiefy? No, we're playing football. Don't worry, I'll look into it, but my cousin Samantha is staying with us. I'll have to take her along. Meanwhile, at the fun fair, the regular staff were unable to sell candy floss or collect tickets, as they were tied up by General Blight and Dr. Gloom. There, that'll hold them. Now then, Doctor, the object of my latest plan is to utterly destroy the Acacia Road police station and Banana Man. There is my engine of destruction. Oh, green bouncing bananas! The Helter Skelter? You know, you know, it looks almost like a rocket. It is a rocket. A rocket so deadly, even I hesitate to use it. But not for long. You see, that innocent-looking helter-skelter is filled with porridge. Thick, lumpy porridge. Uh, imagine, a case of your own, the police station, all buried in thick, lumpy porridge. Uh. You're not serious, are you? Indeed I am. And my preparations are almost complete. That test your strength machine is our ignition system. It's set for outer space. But as soon as the coast is clear, I'll change it to the Acacia Road police station and we'll start the countdown. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you make sure no one interferes with my plan. Ooh, Eric, I'm so excited. Which ride should we start with? The ghost train! Ah! Tickets! Get your tickets here for the ghost train. You do scare easily. He's only the ticket collector. on a ghost train. And you knew your name, Eric. Of course. I should have recognised that voice. It's Dr. Gloom. I shall be gone for a few minutes, but don't worry, you'll be safe. Now, I must eat a banana. A banana at a time like this? I shall just leave for this rail out of position, and they won't stand a ghost of a chance. Oh, no, you don't. Dr. Gloom, it's time you made a spirited exit. What seems to be the problem, men? I woke up. He usually tests the machine to make sure it's working, see? 
but it's not working. Ah, oh, God, dear, dear, dear. Give that man a cuddle toy and send him out. Now, listen, why don't you have a go, eh? Mind if I have a go? We should have thought of the garden. Huh? Oh. giant rocket with its deadly cargo of lumpy porridge zoomed off into space, destined to wander amongst distant galaxies, never to return to Earth. Well, maybe never. Curses! Another scheme done wrong! More courage? <laughs> there you are, Eric. I thought you were lost. Oh, no, Sam. I was... <laughs> Now who scares easily? <laughs>